hello all what we see here is called an adder subtractor circuit and uh, this adder subtractor circuit the center point of the circuit is an operational amplifier what this circuit is going to do is it's going to add and subtract simultaneously um, and it's going to give the output so basically if you see here this circuit is in two configurations right it has input provided at the non-inverting terminal as, a, as well as inverting terminal so there is inverting configuration as well as non-inverting configuration here now there are four inputs here okay so four inputs and correspondingly the output is being written as um, sum of the inputs at non-inverting terminal minus sum of the inputs at inverting terminal that's what the output will be so now this output being given let us try to see how this is being derived and then we will try to simulate in LTSPICE and compare the output now scenario in network theorem when there are multiple sources that are being provided and you have to calculate the output in such scenarios what we have to do is we have to consider um, input source one by one calculate the output and uh, again consider um, another input calculate the output and sum all of them so such uh, uh, analysis or such theorem is called superposition theorem in network analysis where the output of a circuit which has multiple inputs is derived by summing the outputs considering input input sources individually what does it mean is let us consider first v1 okay let us try to list down v1 will be considered and v2 v3 and v4 will be made zero volts that means nothing is given and then we will calculate the v0 similarly we'll take v2 and then we will um, make v1 v3 v4 and and calculate the output so in, and then we will add all of these outputs to come up with the actual output of this circuit so that is part of the superposition theorem now let us consider this as v01 okay now let us take the first circuit so that means in this scenario it is said v1 right considered and v2 is made ground so how does the circuit look in that scenario so this is minus plus and v3 is grounded v4 is grounded zero means ground right so it will be like this where all the three resistors are grounded r r r all the three resistors that are there on the non moving terminal are grounded because v3 v4 is zero and here we have v1 okay and v2 is zero sorry uh, yeah v2 is zero right so that means uh, one end of uh, we'll just try to write and then we'll explain so now v1 is given to one of the resistor and uh, this resistor is grounded that means there is a voltage division that happens between these resistors and then the feedback resistor so this is how the equivalent circuit can be represented now this is a uh, inverting output configuration right v01 okay so v01 is um, calculated by minus rf by r1 into input is v1 right that is we'll consider v1 okay so uh, 
let us consider this this is the node that is going right let us consider this as uh, uh, v in okay so let us consider this as v in because v1 is not we will consider v is not we are going to consider we will be considering the voltage that is being given at the non inverting terminal how do you calculate v in v in is calculated by the resistor divider formula which is v1 into r2 that means ground resistor by r1 plus r2 okay which is nothing but 2r which is nothing but v1 by 2 so it will be half of the voltage so we know v in now okay rf what is rf rf is the feedback resistor so to calculate v01 okay rf is nothing but minus r by what is r1 so r1 is nothing but uh, this resistor right which will be a um, parallel combination of these two resistors which is r into r by r plus r which is r by 2 okay r by 2 into v in v in is v1 by 2 so that means this 2 gets cancelled this 2 gets cancelled r gets cancelled r gets cancelled which gives v not 1 is equal to minus v1 so in the first case when v1 is considered as input v not 1 is equal to minus v1 okay now second case when v2 is considered what we do v2 is considered v1 will be 0 v3 will be 0 v4 will be 0 this is almost the case. it is the same case as this but now we are making v2 right so same analysis is applicable and we we know that v02 is nothing but minus v2 so we get minus v1 minus v2 at the output when we consider inputs individually at the non-inverting terminal of this op amp now so the first, the first uh, uh, no, uh, sorry when inverting uh, terminals of the op amp now let us go to the non-inverting terminals so let us assume a third scenario where v3 is present and v1 comma v2 or v2 is equal to v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v4 is equal to 0 volts so in this scenario what will be the output what will be the equivalent circuit of the op amp so how it looks like is so these two are grounded because v1 v2 is grounded so that means these two are parallel and it becomes r r and r are parallel which is nothing but r by 2 right so because those two resistors become parallel and then we have uh, feedback resistor which will always be r and what we are calculating we are calculating v03 now if we come here what we are giving is um, we are uh, having two resistors okay this is this is being grounded right that means r and r are parallel which becomes r by 2 okay and this cent the center between r and r by 2 goes to the non inverting terminal and we give v3 here okay r so what will be the voltage uh, uh, at the inverting terminal v in is nothing but v3 into r by 2 right voltage division formula r by 2 by r plus r by 2 okay that means it comes to v3 by 3 so that will be the voltage that will be applied here or here now this is a what is this this is a non-inverting amplifier so in non-inverting amplifier the output is calculated by that means v03 is equal to 1 plus rf by r1 right 
because this is not the three and input we know v3 by 3 okay which means rf is nothing but r 1 plus r by r1 is nothing but r by 2 here okay and into v3 by 2 okay so which basically comes to if you uh, correct this it comes to v3 so when v3 is given okay and v1 v2 v4 are grounded we get output as v3 similar scenario in the fourth case when v4 is equal to z uh, v4 is the input and v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v3 is equal to 0 volts in this case v4 will be v04 will be nothing but v4 volts now as per superposition theorem as we talked v0 is nothing but the sum of the individual voltages that are being obtained when individual sources are given that means minus v1 minus v2 which is calculated here minus v1 which is calculated minus v2 as per analysis of v1 and uh, this is nothing but v3 right v3 is and then v4 which is understood that means the output will be v3 plus v4 minus v1 plus v2 that's how we analyze a adder subtractor circuit so in the, the adder subtractor circuit output will be sum of the non-inverting voltages minus sum of the input sources that are provided at the non-inverting terminal minus some of the uh, input sources that are provided at the inverting term that will be the output now we will see the simulation in lt spice this is the lt spice circuit which is uh, adder subtractor circuit adder subtractor circuit subtractor okay so this is adder subtractor circuit where we have two sources that are being connected at the non-inverting terminal and two sources that are being connected at the inverting terminal so the two sources are the same um, or in fact all the four sources are the same so if we if we calculate if we know the uh, formula directly as derived previously v0 is nothing but v3 plus v4 minus v1 minus v2 right so if we do this okay, which is nothing but 5 plus 5 minus 5 minus 5 which is equal to 0 volts this will be the output right so mm, let us try to simulate and see how this is coming yes you can see here when simulated output is 0 volts right almost nanovolts is nothing but zero now let us just try to change one of the voltage to 2.5 volts which is the voltage source here now what will be the expectation here uh, it will be instead of uh, uh, 5 it will be minus 2.5 that means 10 minus 7.5 which will be nothing but 2.5 that's what we have to see in the simulation right let us try to simulate and let us try to probe you can see here the output is 2.5 volts so that means the adder subtractor circuit is a very simple circuit to analyze and uh, we have seen how the output is being derived using the uh, inverting and non-inverting configuration and also applying the superposition theorem. Please try the simulation and please post your questions. Thank you.